I am still happy with the Atletico win, guys. An aggregate of three to nil goals, guys. Well, let's just soak it in. What's up, beautiful people? Wagwan, I hope you guys are doing great. Welcome to yet another video. I'll be doing a match preview between Chelsea versus Sheffield United for the FA Cup. As you guys know, this is International Week, meaning players will be going back to their countries to be playing. And I am super bummed about it because this means that this week, uh, after this week, the number of games will be less and less and less, guys. Anyway, we move. Um, I hope you guys are doing great. And if you enjoy my content, make sure you give it a thumbs up share like comment subscribe everything guys you already know the drill um share with your family and friends it really helps me a lot and let's get into the video so for chelsea news guys um of course Tammy abraham there was a bit of an update about his ankle injury he might be able to be in this game of course this is a quarter final of the fa cup guys it's just cup after cup after cup guys for the i forgot to mention this for the uefa champions league draw guys i was so happy with the teams that we got fc porto is the weakest of the four that uh were in the in the draw and i feel like this is a great opportunity for charles although i will not be putting i will not be underestimating them they did get to the quarterfinals after all so i'm super happy about that one i think we, we we have a chance to win the champions league guys i don't know i'm so hyped about that one um i can't wait to sing i'll sing for you guys like in my previous video if you haven't watched that video make sure you do i sang that we are the champions and i thought it was too soon turns out hey it was not too soon um we're in the quarterfinals for the uefa champions league we're in the quarterfinals for the fa cup happening tomorrow in the stamford bridge um of course gates closed no fans allowed due to corona but we move and life has to go on so other than that a, a little bit more of the news of course tiago silva is still recovering i don't know when is the next time we're going to see tiago silva i keep mentioning tiago silva because i feel like he's a really great player and he deserves more time in the field he's always in the game anyway when he's on, on form but okay most of the time sorry um other than that um i'll be expecting a great game of course um we had talks about gilmore Tuchel said that um he will not advise for the likes of gilmore to be, to be loaned out but um he would prefer them to stay in the academy to grow um as chelsea lads and maybe even in the future compete in the games of course gilmore has been given some game time here and there in the past and of course um he was not in the last match for the under 18 which raised a bit of brows and a bit of questions but it's still okay maybe he'll be given a chance for this um game but other than that let's get into the formation guys for my lineup i'll be going with a 3-4-2-1 formation this is the magical formation guys <laughs> um i'll be expecting um Tuchel to go with a 3-4-2-1 of course i'll be having mendy in goal um, last time there was a bit of change. We had Aspilaqueta, Zuma, and Rudiger. So uh, Christensen was not in the last game, but again, this is a quarter final leg for the FA Cup, and we need our best foot forward. So I won't be surprised if I see Aspilaqueta, Christensen, and then Zuma or Rudiger. Or he can still go with the previous formation from last time. It really worked magically, guys. Rudiger was a really great player in the last game. His combination with Zuma, oh my god, the defense was just in form, guys. No ball was getting through our box, and I feel like magic. It's just magic, guys. Um, Aspilicueta, Christensen, and then Rudiger or Zuma. And then for my midfield four, I'll have to go with Chiral. Um, Alonso played last time. Really great job. Really nice game. So if... um. From time to time, we can go with maybe Alonso, sometimes Chiwell. It's okay. Last time, for the Atletico game, Tuchel decided to go with Alonso. And I feel like um, he has been interchanging Chiwell and Alonso really well. But guys, we cannot ignore the fact that Emerson gave us that beautiful goal that, of course, made the score to the aggregate of three. I keep mentioning that. It just, it just makes me feel amazing about my team. Um, I'm really hyped about how the boys played. 
we should keep this moment going guys um like if you agree if he goes he can go with either one i won't be surprised to see emerson but i'll be going with chiwa for my left wing back then from at the pivot golo kante man of the match last time um he was not in my top five players sadly but i think he deserved to be there guys golo kante had an amazing game last time so this time i won't even be putting i i'll just starting up so i'll have um Chiwo or Emerson and then I'll have N'Golo Kante and then I'll have Kovacic of course Jujino missed the last game because he was on the yellow card but the celebration that's also another thing I forgot to mention the celebration between Thiago Silva um Jujino and Mount was just <laughs> mood hashtag <laughs> and I really enjoyed how they celebrated I felt like they were in place of the fans this is how we would have celebrated if we were in the actual game but they did it for us i accept it um so Jorginho was not in the last game so i won't be surprised if kovacic goes out and Jorginho comes in in his place but either way um they can go i mean Jorginho and kovacic can start and then but kante no kante is an asset kante should definitely start kante and then maybe kovacic or Jorginho. we'll have to wait for the lineup and see and then at the Right wing back, I'll be going with Callum hudson Joy, guys. Um, of course, he came in last time as a substitution. Gave us a very great game. His assists were amazing. He has so much energy. A young player, a great player, a talented player. I feel like he should be with the likes of Erling Haaland. Too far? I don't know. I don't know. Erling Haaland, of course, there's a lot of speculation about him. Each and every team wants him. There's even rumors I saw earlier today on Twitter that um, he's already thinking about moving to Real Madrid he's thinking about the money the the place I don't know but I don't think it should be about the money of course it should be about the money though for Chelsea come to Chelsea Erling Haaland I feel like Chelsea is a great place um Erling Haaland is a great striker but we also have some great talents of course coming up from the academy and since Tuchel is for the boys uh, from the academy coming to the football club I'll have to sit down and wait see what happens over time Patience is key, guys. And <laughs> for my front three, I'll have to go with Mason Mount. We need Mason Mount in this game. Of course, he was not in the Atletico game. He celebrated on our, on our behalf as Chelsea fans. Shout out to Mason Mount. And of course, the previous game um, against Liverpool, where he gave us that great goal, we just really need him in his game. So I'll be going with Mason Mount. And then, of course, Ziyech, guys. Ziyech was, has never been in my formation. Ziyech has never been in my startup lineup. I have never predicted him to start ever, guys. But the last goal was just great. Maybe he'll be tired and maybe he'll be taking time out to recover. Of course, Tammy Abraham might be coming back. We're not sure. So um, so I'll start, I'll go with Mount Ziyech. Up front, I'll have to go with Kai Havertz. Kai Havertz has been doing great. Um, I feel like we can feel his game in the we can feel how he plays in the game. Uh, even though we were just watching from at home he has great skills given the chance he gave us he has been giving us some great goals so Kai Havertz should start of course Pulisic has not been getting a lot of game time maybe I'll substitute and we also have Giroud guys wow the list is so full of bright players I don't even know who to choose so I will have to go with Kai Havertz and then maybe Pulisic can come in as a substitution or Giroud we'll have to wait and see um but that will be my formation for my score prediction, I will definitely go with a 2-0 win, comfortably. Well, Sheffield is currently at number 20, if I'm not wrong, in the Premier League table. But this is nothing to do with the Premier League table, but I'll just be using that as my stats. This is the FA Cup. Anything can happen. Everyone wants to win the Cup. So the Blades, as they call them, the Sheffield United, will have to wait and see. Of course, they'll be putting their best foot forward. And you can never underestimate any team. I have done that in the past and I was just, I will not say embarrassed again, but um, I'll be expecting a great game tomorrow. Make sure you watch out for my match review. That's it for my video. Thanks so much for watching. Um, I really hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Um, make sure you comment down below, done, if you reached this far. <sighs> Guys, well, we'll get there in time. Follow me on social media platforms at Felicia underscore H on Twitter at Football Mania underscore with Felicia on Instagram and I'll make sure I add you back. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.
since you've been gone, I've been catching the vibe. Catching the vibe, I've been catching the vibe. Since you've been gone, I've been catching the vibe. Catching the vibe, I've been catching the vibe. Catching the vibe, I've been catching the vibe. Catching the vibe, I've been catching the vibe. Catching the vib